Okay, today I'm going to talk about uh, the Z-Pinch uh, planetary formation. This is where a planet forms in a Birkeland current, which is uh, part of an EM field. Okay. A wave pulse of energy is fired from a sun. Its construction is a double helix vortex, which when it meets an electrical EM field line, it follows the EM field line and so turns into a rolling wave. Now, as you can see, I've got a picture of the sun there with its uh, EM field bands flying out. Um, and you can see the straight lines there. Those straight lines are where the um, Birkeland current double helix vortex turns into a wave as it uh, travels perpendicular to the original flow and follows the EM field left and right. I have confirmed this on video um, with a 4K video of the sun and um, my constructed design of how vortex to wave occurs shown here. Now, when the energy pulse lessens, there is no more matter sent. There is only energy being sent. The opposing rotating waves pull in matter, like a scroll unrolling or rolling up. The EM field line rotates the matter and strips it from the double helix vortex and transforms it to the pinch point wave. Planets are created, both spinning clockwise and counterclockwise. All planets spin counterclockwise except Venus and Uranus. The following diagram shows why. This vortex attachment is also how moons are connected to planets, which also spin counterclockwise. Okay, so we have three diagrams of the same thing. Let's just, uh, the top picture is the wave picture I've drawn on the right, which um, was confirmed by vortex to wave movement uh, that we can see on the video. So as you can see, we have uh, different rotating EM field lines that come from the sun. This is because energy has a left and a right rotation. Left rotation is traveling counterclockwise, the right is traveling clockwise. So there is a uh, counterclockwise and clockwise repetition of alternating rotations as the sun moves out. Now I've drawn all the, uh, the lines there showing the different rotations and at the very end there you can see Venus and Uranus which is attached to a reversed spin as compared to the rest of the planets. This is merely because the EM field coming from the Sun when energy goes into it it either rotates clockwise or counterclockwise. Now because energy travels in a double helix wave I have drawn it as a scroll because that's actually what it is. Um, it's pulsed energy which is the Galaxy S and they uh, perform an interlinking wave where they roll into each other and through each other so it can be described as a double helix scroll. Now once the matter has been sent out the waves, um, the vortex turns into waves on the Sun's EM field lines and that's why we are rotating because energy is coming as a straight pulse from the Sun which is why we have a disk facing quiet this is because energy is automatically funneled to us because we are attached by vortex to the Sun once it hits the EM field barrier that we are being the Earth is being rotated on which is counterclockwise the energy is pulled in in both directions you can see from the arrows there it says dh dh and i have arrows going in two different directions this is because it is an interlinking wave and one slots into the previous one so once the waves hit the field lines they are immediately halted at the at the field line and then matter is rolled up like a scroll so as you can see from the arrows they are all pointing into the scroll so they roll up and they roll into a single scroll and strip the matter from the vortices. Now you have the EM field from the Sun which is coming from uh, the South Pole and up into the Earth and from the North Pole and down into the Earth and because they are forcing compression by uh, traveling through each other as an interlinking wave this then becomes a sphere which we can see on the right hand side bottom there this is why all planets poles have a swirl at their pole. This is because when this was liquid matter it was rolled up like a scroll and then it was crushed together through itself in an Ouroboros Taurus EM field because that's how energy reacts when it changes from a vortex to a wave and then it's held in space with four opposing rotational directions. 
So at the bottom there we see the sun. We have now cancelled out the movement um, of the scroll rolling up because the scroll is now there and then energy from the EM field up and down forces the planet to pass through itself which gives us the planetary swirl at every pole. So the Z-pinch planetary formation wave is actually a scroll of matter. This formation of planets is the same as smoke travel. It is radiation travel, which is electrical in nature. And all energy travels the same, from a double helix vortex to a double helix horizontal wave. Uh, this is also carried on through into mythology and religion. Um, there are carvings on rocks with um, vortex to wave around the sun. Um, and eventually these would link up and form a double ring around the sun and then you have uh, swirls on rocks which is EM fields that are viewable in our atmosphere because our atmosphere works the same as the sun so you get these different kinds of swirls um, you have religions alephs of God which is a bull's head which when viewed from above is actually a galaxy S uh, you have the ram's head which is actually a rollover halo wave uh, you get the T formation in smoke or the galaxy S when it's uh, in space with no atmosphere and all are electrical vortex or wave so T from the side view or a galaxy swirl from the end view thanks very much my name is Lee and I'm a Christian